Hello my soccer universe, welcome to the Premier League review. Yeah, I'm going this week strictly by when was the last game played and actually the Premier League is right behind the Bundesliga, so there you go. We'll do Premier League, although I just pu uh, published one with Ronaldo, but there were actually, I have to say, the biggest game this weekend was definitely in the Premier League and there were quite some interesting things hap 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 happening and I watched actually quite some stuff uh, there, so I'm more than ready to do this. I'm wearing surprisingly Spurs, they're top of the table uh, and the North London rivals all the way down and they're showing at uh, Manchester City is everything what you would have expected from that game. In many ways uh, you knew that Manchester City will pile on the goals, you knew that some Arsenal player will get off, uh, will get sent off and yeah that is Granit Xhaka also did not necessarily come as a surprise. It was already 2-0 and I, I love the little review there, the, the, so let's say, yeah, Arsenal stars as well, but it ended in the 7th minute, when City decided to score a goal. So, there you go. And when Xhaka got sent off, there were all chances that Arsenal had of doing anything, my computer really going nuts here, uh, were done. So, um, there, uh, they are, there, there you go. I think in the end the result was flattering Arsenal. Um, and yeah, Manchester City. Maybe the loser of the entire transfer window, despite getting Jack Grealish, but you know, they have so many tar targets that they didn't get. Let's see if they get another striker uh, that will score for them. But 5-0 winners, and after a bad start, they had now two 5 nils in a row, which puts Arsenal in the same category as Norwich. Just saying. That's why I chose the yellow Arsenal shirt back there, which probably you don't see at the moment. Um, I also saw a little bit of Newcastle South, Southampton, fortunately only the, first, the second half because the first half really seems, seems to be uh, rather bad. Callum Wilson giving them a league, Elianusi equalizing and then uh, in the end the game really explodes with Sam Maximan getting a supposed winner but then a penalty that was given on VAR. Um, yeah, the tackle. I mean, at first when you see it in life, it doesn't look like, like a penalty, but then when you really look at it um, uh, on TV, you really see how he's missing the ball and pushing the player away. Penalty, Ward Prowse steps up and there was one little Newcastle fan that was very, very upset with that. Um, yeah, we'll see. Newcastle is a little bit upsetting at the moment if you're a fan. That's for sure. Not that I've seen, seen much by what I mentioned. Everton is slowly getting into a really good start. Still unbeaten. West Ham dropping points. Also not uh, a bit unexpected to, to, to be honest. And Norwich um, losing again at home despite uh, having an equalizer. But there was an offside. So, um, yeah. Liverpool-Chelsea. That's the game we need to talk, to, to talk about. Uh, that was a thoroughly entertaining game, I have to say. And... It is very early in the season, but I actually think I did learn two things out of that. Uh, the first thing is that while Liverpool still can press with the best of them, defensively they can get they they are not yet uh, quite as solid, um, and that uh, showed in many ways. Uh, and that leads me to my second point: defensively, Chelsea are rock solid and I think they are such a stable team that can um, take advantage of almost anyone. A little bit it needs to click up on the front because there were a few chances where, uh, especially in the, in the first half when, Chelsea, when it was still 11 versus 11, uh, where if Lukaku and Harvard are a little and uh, also a little bit more on the same page. I'll use you used to it to each other. I mean, there are a few times where Lukaku would have sent Harvard or the other way around, and then I think the game would have been done already in the first half, despite Liverpool probably being more proactive. Still, um, the way the game went, I think, as I said, Liverpool more proactive. I mean, having a huge chance by Henderson, who would kind of even pull it on goal. Uh, but then once Chelsea made the goal through Harvard, which was a wonderful header to the West, which I didn't expect from him, uh, then I actually thought that Chelsea very much was in control of this game. I mean, the Battle Royale, which actually was not as uh, uh, often happening as I wished it was, of course, uh, Van Dijk against Lukaku. But uh, I think they overall had Lukaku quite in check, but um, there were, as I said, a few CC situations where Liverpool definitely could have um, paid 
for being defensively not as rock solid as we used to have them. They also, while they pressed well, I don't think they sucked the life out of it. And Chelsea is a really, really, really good uh, team. And I thought that after the 1-0, uh, they were unlucky to not uh, score a second one. Uh, but that might have been a little bit too much. And uh, just going into the half, I thought, well, maybe this last corner kick will give us something. Boy, did it give us something. Um, it changed the game in all regards. I mean, uh, the corner kick, I think Matip then hits the bar, the ball comes off, there's a shot, I think it was Mane, and uh, Rhys James, ball goes from the um, thigh up to his hand, which would not have been yet a penalty, but you can see this swooping motion, I think that makes it in, into a penalty. Uh, it was a very tricky situation and I could see how the Chelsea players are upset with that. Um, I think what was upsetting, I think the penalty was to me pretty clear that it is a penalty. What I think was upsetting, the way that the, not the, the right decision was found, but he just looked at the freeze frame. I think in order to make it, because if you look at freeze frame, yeah, yeah, it, 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 the ball is at the hand. Okay, but how did it go to, 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 to the hand? Because to me, it's only a penalty once this instinctive, admittedly swooping motion puts the ball out of, out of play. If he would stand here like a statue, bang, bang, it would not have been a penalty, in my opinion. But yeah, penalty was given. Chelsea players really, really upset and um, Salah scores uh, and makes it 1-1. But uh, that red card completely changed the game because now uh, Chelsea hunkered down and there were 15 minutes, the first 15 minutes where Liverpool really had a chance, but it was mostly long distance shots. And I think there was one header from Diogo Jota. And then around the 60th, Lukaku uh, initiated a chance. And then there was not much happening anymore. Liverpool did not have the tools to break down uh, this Chelsea side. And you could see it. I mean, Tuchel was very happy with the draw. Uh, Klopp, uh, in his post-interview, said, yeah, um, I see a lot of positives. And, I, you know, one could say that we maybe missed the chance to really get something. But uh, on the other side, uh, it's a, I, I cannot be unhappy with a point against a really, really, really good team. And then he also said he never liked having uh, an opponent go down to 10 men because it just kills the game. And totally. In many ways, I mean, the impact of the red card on Arsenal was that Arsenal completely fell to bits and pieces because uh, presence was lost. Uh, at the, and they're not a settled team, but the impact of this was that Chelsea just said, okay, we go, we're going to take Kante out, we're going to take Havertz out, um, and we're going to hunker down and put men behind the ball. And if we hit a counter-attack with Kovacic and Lukaku, so be it. And I think in the end, I actually got out of it that I'm a little bit more, I think that Chelsea is overall the more complete team already. I think this is the early, early, I mean, it's third third round. Uh, we also know the Feminus probably in in, in in here. So, I mean, the signs for Liverpool, I think top four, yes. Title challenge, I'm not so 100% after seeing their good uh, things there, but I don't see Liverpool necessarily challenging for the title. Chelsea more, uh, inkling Chelsea more than Liverpool. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, the last two games as, as well because Spurs gets the third 1 0 win in a row. Um, and it was from a nice free kick from uh, Hyung Min Son. I keep saying he's probably one of my favorite players in the uh, league. Uh, they had trouble with Watford, who had Musa Sissoko uh, just sw switching over. They uh, had a solid showing, but Spurs just got the one uh, breakdown. Now we have Kane staying at Spurs with this heartfelt message to the fans. I'm sorry, uh, spare me uh, those. And yeah, Spurs third win in a row, uh, more or less the opposite of what Arsenal is doing. And then Wolves against United. I mean, uh, the hair kept uh, United in the, 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 that game. Uh, and after seeing that, and I saw it or, or, or in comments on my Ronald, Ronaldo video, yeah, I think a uh, defensive midfielder probably is really what United uh, needed more than having Ronaldo up front. Maybe I was a little bit too excited, but I know that Ronaldo will give the goals. 
And I think that United will pick up more points with Ronaldo against pesky opposition. But that game, um, Wolves should have scored. That United then uh, scores a late winner uh, through Greenwood. I think he wanted to do a cross that just found his way into goal. But they get the win. And I mean, this is also a quality that you need to have. And most notably to me is that United played in all of the three jerseys already, which I found also quite interesting. So yeah, uh, United, another team uh, starting overall well. And I think there's a lot of excitement around them, especially with Cristiano coming. Let's see where it goes. Um, but I still think that with Cristiano, United could make a push for at least one, if not two titles this season. Maybe not the Premier League, as I said. With West Ham uh, drawing, we have Spurs now alone on top. That I think no one really expected. Uh, but then, you know, we have West Ham, United, Liverpool, Chelsea all there. Even City now with already 10 goals scored, like West Ham. Uh, moving up, as I said, Everton had a really, really good start. Uh, and on the bottom, we find Newcastle now in 17, Wolves 3 one nil losses but i think there's something growing there they just need to not get too discouraged by those results uh norwich i think also had pretty tough opponents to start the league but i have a feeling that norwich will uh go down again arsenal uh still zero percent of relegation three percent of qualifier for champions league i do not see that on oh, no, oh, the expected standings have arsenal now in ninth less than everton moving up uh, Spurs staying in fifth, so let's see. And Newcastle dropping into the relegation zone, at least on the expected standings for now, which would honestly be a surprise after the break. And I don't think that these are the dates that the games will be played. Um, we have a lot of games here at four o'clock, and I think some of them will go maybe Friday or so on. Um, I think the the big game, yeah, how to this? I mean. United Newcastle, everyone will watch that because of uh, Ronaldo. I want to see if Arsenal can do some, can get fine, finally points. We have another London double between Crystal Palace and Spurs. Um, and then Leeds United against Liverpool, a very traditional match. And I forget, I think the best one is probably Leicester against Man City. Lots of stuff to see. Well, let me know what you thought about the happenings in the Premier League this uh, weekend. Drop a line below, give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.